Hello and welcome back to another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Guys, we're back out on the farm and we're working on this Ford Falcon, specifically BABF. It's the six cylinder inline six uh, barra, they like to call it. Uh, guys, we are going to be replacing the high pressure power steering line. Now, super easy to undo at the top. There's a 14 mil or a 12 mil in the guts, a little clamp that holds the power steering lines together. And then little, uh, I think 17, 18 mil down at the power steering rack. That's a bit difficult to get to, but if you've got the right tools, we should be able to get this done in about 15 minutes. Guys, most likely the reason you're doing this job is at the top where it goes into the power steering pump. The O-ring will be perished and it's a fixed O-ring. You can't actually take it off the line. So it's best to just change the whole uh, power steering hose all in one go. That way you don't a, leak out your power steering pump every week, and B, leak down onto your alternator, destroy your alternator, destroy your pump, everything's happening. It's best to just replace this uh, power steering hose and be on your way. Now, if you did need this hose, we do have them available here at Parts Factory Australia. I'll show you one now. As you can see, guys, they are an OEM replica part. It's plug and play sort of stuff. Of course, it includes the O-rings on each end, which is always good. Uh, that way, it's just plug and play. Easy does it guys. Alrighty, now if you do need this part, don't forget it is available on our website. All you gotta do is cruise on to partsfactoryoz.com.au. The link's gonna be in the description of the video. Buy it, get it on its way. Use this video to save yourself some money by doing it yourself. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Keep this, um, this YouTube channel in your toolkit. You never know when you're gonna need more assistance doing DIR repairs on your cars. Alrighty guys, let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, this power steering hose, there's a 16 mil here or an 18 mil, but you also have this little high pressure switch. And we're gonna start by doing the easy stuff first and making our way to the hard stuff. So pull that little switch off, make sure you don't lose the little, um, you know, little metal component of it. Then get your bloody hose out of the way. This is where you grab your 18 mil spanner because we're gonna crack this 18 mil and we're gonna get, we're gonna get this uh, hose flopping around so that uh, we can make the next step. Alrighty guys, so the 18 mil is just here and we basically, we gotta go counterclockwise. So you put your, your bar on it like so and you go to the left like that, just crack it. Now there is gonna be fluid that's gonna come out of this um, bottle. So my recommendation, easiest way, if you don't have a fluid extractor, you just put a few rags down there and of course it'll drip down onto your rags and you can trash the rags after that. So I'm just gonna undo this 18 mil here. Obviously uh, there's no other faster way to do it. So we're just gonna do it the manual way. You can see I'm just going left the entire time. There's not really much space to get in there. Okay, there it is there. Now, yes, fluid's gonna fall out. Anyway, grab your power steering line, bring it around so that it's kind of just flopping around in the engine bay like so. Look straight down the guts, guys. I'm just gonna brighten it up for you. You'll see that clamp there. Now, you see that bolt in the center of the screen? It's a 12 mil bolt or nut, unsure. And it will release that clamp and you can pull your high pressure line, which is the one on the right out of the clamp and then of course we're going to grab the 18 mil and you see the hose on the bottom that's your steering rack there we're going to crack the bottom hose which is an 18 mil and then we're going to pull this whole power steering line out of the engine bay Alrighty, guys so i've lifted the car up and i've hopped under it and that way we can access this high pressure line here that's the one right there so that means you can just grab your spanner like so um, it's looking like it is a 19 on this end. Yeah, so I've just gone and grabbed my 19 and now we're gonna crack that and then hopefully we can just slowly loosen her off. If, cause the problem is, is getting in here, that's the issue, but if we can kind of like angle the spanner, there we go, so we can get it started. And once we get it started, we should be able to continue it on. Now there will be power steering fluid, guys. It's gonna come out just like that. So make sure you put a little bucket on the ground where it's dripping and that'll get you out of trouble. Alrighty guys, so once you have the power steering hose out of the bracket, you can then bring this little bracket around and you poke 
the hose through that and feed it past all this nonsense <clears throat> like so and pull your hose out guys simple as that it might get twisted and stuck up there so at that point oh no there you go boom bang alrighty guys it's now time to swap that switch onto that bracket so I'll just grab a spanner so I've got this uh, 15 mil spanner obviously I'm gonna go lefty loosey don't forget to tighten it up properly guys you get your shifter and spanner okay guys once you've got your new high pressure hose ready to go pop back under and of course same procedure in reverse you tuck that straight back up getting it right up there just so it's literally ready to go when you get back onto the top section and then of course you tuck this end through the bracket and around so it's ready to go as well and then of course the rest is pretty self-explanatory guys you put the get that up way up the top there there we go hopefully it sits there nicely and you bring this under and around it's very hard to do it with um one hand obviously let me just have put that in Alrighty guys, so once you've got it lined up nicely, you then obviously just begin to tighten it up. Uh, tighten it all the way to the end. About, you know, um, one hand strength. And then of course, we're going to put our little bracket back on. Uh, remember to put your little rubber grommet back in. But to be honest guys, it really doesn't need it. it, it there's really no reason for that bracket other than keeping everything nice and straight. So if you're happy just to run it with the metal bracket, you're also welcome to do that. Definitely make sure that this is on tight with your o-ring and then I'll see you at the top. Alrighty guys, so we're back on the top. Um, I hope that you have done your uh, high pressure line to the pump and now we're going to do that bracket which is just your little 12 mil. So you can just bring your hose next to it etc. Bring this forward, bolt it in and then of course the final step is just to simply Put your high pressure line into your pump and put this switch back on. Now guys, I'm not even going to bother. This is a scrap car. Um, it's, it's seen the end of its life. But at the end of the day, guys, that's as easy as it, as it is. It's, it's, it is a 15 minute job. Especially if you can get under the car. Easier than using a forklift that I, like I had to. But other than that, guys, um, that's it. Job complete. Obviously now, fill your power steering fluid back up. Topping it up basically, let the car run, uh, it'll run, 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 pump the fluid through, fluid will suck down, put more fluid in it, and that's it guys, job complete. Alrighty guys, I hope everything's gone nice and smooth with your high pressure line. Yes, I know I didn't put it all back together, but realistically, I showed you how to get it off, I showed you how to put it back in place, how to maneuver it, where to position it, and of course how much to tighten it, etc, etc. That's my job guys. Uh, the realistically the reason why I haven't put it back on is because there is no o-ring on that top hose So there's actually no reason for me to do it. I think it fell off somewhere But anyway, don't worry about that guys. You've got everything you need right in front of you So do it as as intended and everything will work nice and uh, easy. Alrighty guys. My name's Lucas Thanks for watching another parts factory Australia installation tutorial video um, I'll see you next time